Those were the good old days, man. I didn't realise how bad they were, man. Jeez, the acting. <sighs> Looking back on it though, man, I think we've done a pretty great job. Yeah, it wasn't bad for a bunch of kids. I mean, if we put that much effort into making a film as a kid, how much what we could do now? I mean, anyone can make a film that looks professional. The only problem is the distribution. That's it. Yeah. And we have money. We do. It's just, it's, it's all tied up in this house right now. Yeah, and that's where it's staying, along with me and Simon. What? What? No, no, I'm leaving. You stole me from my darling Rose McCarthy. Oh, real talk. Rose McCarthy couldn't pick you out of a phone book. Yeah, like someone could write a whole book about phones. Oh, my God. How do you not get this? Your one true love off himself. Mm, to be fair, he had a tough choice. Eternal hellfire or Maddie. Ha! <laughs> I can save you, you know. You have to be smart now. You're not in your office anymore. You're in mine. And in my office, things is different. Number one thing, I am the boss. Not those lads, me. And there'll be no fucking working either. Unless, unless you call riding working, which I, I, I suppose it is. I'll make you an offer, Brownie Babes. If you marry me, I won't fight you. Remember, you chased here after me. You don't see the gazelle chasing the lion, or the penguin after the great white, do you? No, you don't. So don't fucking cut yourself, woman. It's marriage or death. Okay. Look, it was nice to meet you, but I've got to be somewhere. So, you've got this, right? <laughs>